Hey guys, it's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna cover PHP data types and variable handling functions. So, in PHP, variable data types can be broken down in three different categories, scalar, composite, and special. Okay, so the scalar is a single unit of data, and this includes variables like string, which is text, integer, which is a whole number, float, which is a fractional number, and boolean, which is a zero or a one, and it could also be represented as true for one, or false for zero. Next we got composite which is an array or an object and the array basically holds multiple values like you see here separated by the comma and the object refers to the instance of the class so if we have a class named movie for example we can then say object equals new keyword and then the class name and that will create the object instance of that class so that's how we create an object data type. Finally, we have a special, and under special we have a null, which is uh, basically means nothing, or no value at all. And uh, another one is a resource which can hold special values like database connections, open files, etc. So these are the most common data types you're gonna encounter in PHP. Now, let's actually create some of these variables and now we can play around with them. So the first one I'm gonna define is a string variable. And uh, so this is just gonna be information about a Matrix movie. Uh, I think it's a good way to demonstrate all kinds of different data types in PHP. So this one is gonna be float. I'm gonna define awesome equals true. That is a Boolean. And then I'm gonna create a array and this one is going to be an associative array and it's going to have actor names and the roles they played in the movie and so I'm just going to put a couple of them in here Morpheus Carrie Ann Okay, that's enough. So that's gonna be our associative array. And data type is gonna be array. Then I'm gonna create a class movie and create an object matrix using the new keyword followed by the class name, which is a movie. And that's gonna create the object instance of the class. And uh, let's define a null one. And finally, Let's define a resource, and this one is going to refer to the open file. I'm just going to specify the directory where this text file is located. It can be any text file. And so this one is going to become a resource. Okay, now let's go ahead and cover some of the variable handling functions. And the reason I want to show you this is because there's a lot of... Uh, variable uh, functions or va variable handling functions in PHP which give you all kinds of uh, information about data types and other information about the variables and as you can see the first one is a get type and it does exactly what it says it gets the type data type of the variable then then we have a is set which checks if the variable has been initialized onset destroys the variable and then you can just uh, download this uh, this little cheat sheet or table here and just check out all of these other variables and play around with uh, the variables that we have just defined but I'm gonna create a loop now and uh, I'm gonna use get type variable to get the information about all the variables that we have just created to get the data type but before I do that I'm actually gonna define a new variable and it's gonna hold all these variables in it uh, using an array. So I'm gonna define a variable named data and then I'm gonna say array and I'm just gonna put all these variable names inside of this array. And then we're gonna use a for loop to loop through all these variables inside of the data array. And I'm gonna use the get type function to get the data type of these variables. Okay, so let's create a for loop. 
And I'm gonna use a function named count to count how many elements are inside the array. So we know when, when to stop looping. And then I'm gonna echo out and use the uh, get data function, I think. Yep, oh, get type, get type. And then I'm just gonna say data i to get to the variable. And now let's go ahead and see what happens. Gonna open up the browser here real fast. Local navigate to PHP um, data types. Okay, so it's printing out all data types. Let me just use a BR HTML tag so we can read it a little easier. Okay, so it's printing out all the data types of those variables. As you can see, the first one is a string, which is this variable here, the matrix. Second one is an integer, which is the release here. And uh, it's got all the information about all the other variables that we've defined. And you can see that it's getting the right type, type of uh, data type of those variables. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the data types. And you can go ahead and play around with all these uh, other functions. And um, I'm just gonna demonstrate a couple of them right now. Um, I'm just gonna say if, for example, is array. So that's gonna check if the data type of the variable is an array. And if it is, it's just gonna print out the array data using a printr function. And then another one, let's say else if is numeric, or I'm just gonna say if, if is numeric. So that's gonna check if the data type is a number. I'm gonna say something like numeric value detected, and then print out the actual variable information or the value of the variable. And uh, I'm gonna also include the br tag at the end, so it's easier to read. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Let's go ahead and go back to the output. And now as it's looping, it's detecting uh, the integer and then it's saying numeric value detected because it's a number and it's printing the value of that variable. And then the float one is also numeric, so it's also detecting that. And then it's also detected the associative array and then it printed the whole thing out here. So you can see how you can play around with all these function names and get a bunch of information uh, from the variables. var underscore dump is a really useful one because it provides additional information about the variable. And uh, so the empty one is a very useful one because it checks if the variable exists or if it is null. You can use unset to basically destroy the variable or unset a key from the array. And you can check for all kinds of different data types and it's really useful to do that while programming. So go ahead and play around with these, download this cheat sheet and uh, I hope this video has been useful for you guys and if, if it was, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.